Hey everybody, welcome to the three-way podcast show. This is Linkster 101 or JP back. Back from work. This is my sister, uh, Dina, and her Twitter is DNA Gamer. DNA Gamer. Man, put some voice, bass in your voice. It's because I'm like DNA. Oh, I am. Yeah. I, it's because I am. I, is it working? Is it going? No, it's all going. Here. It's all going. No, but is it working? Because last time, whatever. And the man behind all the magic, of course, JRX4. Uh, Twitch is JRX4 at Twitch. What? Uh, what? Oh, Twitch.tv four slash JRX4x. Sure. Yes, I'm sure we can slow that down later for them, sure. or we can put a link below. Thanks so much for watching us, guys. So we're going to go ahead and begin. Uh, it's another week uh, that has passed us by with a lot of information to go over. And we want to start off with, of course, the big news that I think, as far as pop, in my opinion, and people have been talking about it, is, of course, uh, uh, The Witcher. So we got to first look at the costumes, at uh, the characters in costumes. They released three characters, correct? Uh, sure. Um, it's the, it's the, the witch girl, <laughs> the witch girl, the witch guy, wow. uh, it's the witch girl. And then, uh, the, the main guy and, uh, is uh, Yennefer. I don't know how to pronounce those names. Yennefer. 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 A, Yennefer. Y-E-N-N-E-F-E-R. Yennefer. 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 No, Yennefer. Yennefer. You've been playing the game, shouldn't you know? Yeah, but I mean, I don't really pay attention <laughs> to the, to the, to the story. I, I'm not going to lie, dudes. Like I stopped halfway. I kept, I kept getting bored. I kept getting too repetitive. I know some people really love it, but I just didn't get into what's it. What's the lead guy's name? The main witcher? Uh, uh, Gerald? Ger- Ger- Gerald. Man, there's a lot of freaking Spanish names in there. Geraldo, Hennifer, <laughs> puta. Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I'm interested in the show. Uh, the, they showed the costumes, and Henry, uh, I can never pronounce it. Cavill. 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 You got it. Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill uh, came Gerardo out, and Rivera. he actually, honestly. Gerardo I, Rivera. I don't know how to say that. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? R I V I A. That's his R-I-V-I-A. last name. R I V I A. Rivia. 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 Rivia or Rivia. Yeah, then oh my God! Then he stops putting his pants. Then it's Jennifer and then Freya Allen as C I R I. Sira. 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 C I R I. Sira or Kira. Kira. Kira? Yeah, that's a. Uh, if they're pronouncing it in Spanish, it'd be like. Sita. The point is, they're releasing three main <laughs> characters, all right? And Henry Cavill came out, and he looked. Honestly, me personally, I thought he looked good. He looked like Papi Chulo. I don't he know about all that. Swole as fuck. He looks yeah. swole as fuck. Like, cause, cause in the game, uh, 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 Gerald is is swole as fuck, and he looked uh, beaten up and battered a bit there. He looked dirty. He doesn't have the scar in his eye, and he only he's only carrying one sword. Supposedly, they're gonna talk about in in, in the show exactly how he was able to use those two swords. But uh, it looks very interesting. Uh, it, I'm I'm ex- I'm actually a little excited for it now. Like I'm, I'm looking too. forward to it. I'm excited too. Uh, well, if you play like the game, you know he only uses the other sword when he's fighting like the paranormal. True, but then you can always switch to two. So he doesn't need to carry two swords. No, he doesn't. True story. But just people, one sword is enough. Fans were up, 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 uh, in Twitter were in an uproar. What the hell was that? You creep. <laughs> <laughs> Be cute. Be cute. Abigail, you're a married woman. Yeah. Please. Where my so, ring at? Hey. <laughs> and so. I love you, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, what ended up happening is that these these, these people want to find out, like all these fans of The Witcher, they want to find out why he only has two swords. And now they're not as because bi- when he first came out, people were bitching. He was like, he looks too clean cut. That's not Gerald. Uh, well, I think the main issue was they were like, so is this pre-Witcher days? Or are they just introducing him the storyline before he turns no, this into is the Witcher day. From, or, from what I'm aware so, of, this is pre-Witcher well, day. I don't understand. Like, I thought he looked great from the very get-go. I thought he looked great. Well, because remember, keep him in, in the game, he has a scar. He's a little bit right. Peter and Brazzle. He's been through a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he uh, Henry Cavill got swole, like super swole. So he, he like looks Superman good. swole? Like Superman swole, probably a little bit. Honestly, I think got he's probably it. swore. Than, than when he was in Superman. I'm not even gonna lie. Really? Yeah. I think in, in Superman he was lanky. Like he was still swole, but lanky swole. Now he's like swole swole. Like they like, probably had him go like he's like Thor or swole. Something. Oh. Okay. Not the fat Thor. I'm talking about like pre-fat <laughs> Thor. <laughs> not the end game yeah. Thor. <laughs> so I'm excited for it. Are you excited for it? I, I I'm very it. excited for I, it. I'll watch it. You gonna watch it, Elias? Mm, so yeah, uh, the supporting and, characters. And when is it supposed to come out? Uh, I don't know. What are the supporting characters? What are your thoughts aside from? I, I feel like um, you could do. I mean, you could just put any pretty girl. I think with because they're gonna put a wig on them um, and and with the elf ears and things like that. Like they'll, they'll look fine. I think they'll. You can put plug anybody in there. 
Um, mm. But it just says 2019. 2019? So, I mean, I know it's supposed to come out, like, sometime, maybe perhaps by the end of this year. Um, I know uh, uh, Stranger Things Season 3 just came out, so... Uh, maybe no spoilers, <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. It, it, well, the point is that they might come out like sometime in the holiday. They usually do that when it's a big um, release. I think there's a there's like another, is it Comic-Con coming up or something's coming up where they're going to be probably showing more of like The Witcher. Oh, and, okay. probably, and probably give a release date. Okay, Okay, more than likely. I, I'll be excited for it. I, I would watch it. it. I, honestly, what I mean, I already paid for Netflix, so I'll watch it. I would watch um, it. So something else that came over the week as well, which I thought was meh, but some people were really excited about it, was Jumanji, the next trailer, uh, which is called Next Le- Jumanji Next Level. Wait, you didn't do the pop? Oh, I didn't I, I didn't do it. Sorry. That was <laughs> I just remembered uh, too. Yeah, I just remembered too. So. <laughs> well, essentially, uh, Jumanji came out. Um, we got to see, for those who haven't seen the first one, spoiler alert, all the kids come back. And, like, they form relationships. Man, they need to stop having these kids come back, man. That's too many kids in this world. <laughs> so, you know, the bully, the bullies all nice to everybody. The football player, the jock, the cheerleader, the pretty cheerleader is all nice to everybody. And then, like, the nerd gets with the other nerd, and they kiss, and they get together. Well, in this one, obviously, they, they must have been split up or something happened. Right. Uh, they don't talk to each other. And so, in the trailer, you know, uh, uh, I guess their grandpa. Grandparents. Uh, grandparents get involved. And like you know, Kevin Hart's like, look at my thighs. Ugh, ugh. It was just like uh, I just was, thought it was too much. I I felt like they're um, just milking it. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's I, how I feel too. I'm like, mm. I'd watch it, but like maybe on home DVD. Yeah, I'll wait till it comes DVD out. DVD still exists or Blu-ray? Sure, Blu-ray. Blu-ray. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm or a uh, digital Blu-ray. copy. Yeah. Digital copy. <laughs> I'll watch it on VHS when it comes. <laughs> when it comes out. <laughs> Look, whenever it comes out, I'll watch yeah. it. Um, um, nah, but yeah, I just I'm not feel like they're, they're milking it too much. Yeah, they're milking it's, it way too much. Let it, let it rest. I literally saw the first one in my phone. I, the first one was was okay. It was okay. It was okay. It was okay. So, I mean, Kevin Hart and The Rock are box office hits, so I know they'll make money. Uh, but I, I don't... I don't... I don't know. It, it's just... It's the, just... The Rock gotta make his money somehow? Yeah. <laughs> he's having, like, nothing but girls. He has, like, three girls now, I think. What does that have to do no, with anything? He, he has two daughters. He has two just, daughters? Just two. Oh, he he had, the, I thought the, he had another baby. That's why he's oldest one is all more. grown up, but he has two, two oh, daughters. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. He was my favorite Too many damn time. kids, man. Yeah, I, I thought <laughs> that was Stone Cold Steve Austin. No, actually. You're such a liar. Stone Cold Steve Austin is my second favorite. For a while, you were all about Stone Cold yeah, Steve Austin. Yeah, because he was like, you know, middle finger to the motherfuckers. You know the what Rock used to be mine and Myra's because he was good looking. You never, whatever. I'm not gonna go. Oh there. really? So the next thing that we want to go ahead and inform you is that we are gonna do. What's uh, wrong with your eyebrows? I'm doing the the rock. That's oh. not. She looks no. like she's having a seizure or yeah, something. Oh man. Sorry. Don't don't ruin my favorite wrestler's eyebrows. He was never your favorite wrestler. You were wrestler. all about Stone Cold Steve Austin. I so, remember. It's all about Stone Cold. Hey, I do like Stone Cold. Though. What? <sighs> huh? What? Yeah, what? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right. Anyways. So the next thing, moving along. No, 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 no. It should be shh. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. So the next thing that uh, we want to go ahead and inform you is that we are going to do a special hump day show uh, that comes out on Wednesday, uh, which is a Stranger Things. We're going to cover and give our opinions and review the whole season. Uh, we were able to watch it, me and Elias. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, of course, uh, all these damn kids are back. Too many damn kids. Too many kids. damn kids. Oh, Way Dustin's too many damn babe. kids. I but, love um, Dustin. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go ahead and discuss it. But uh, 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 just I feel qu- bad. I feel like this this season, like they're going to be really It's only eight episodes. I feel like the other seasons were a lot longer. No. There were there were like 10, 12 episodes. It was 10 and then 8 and then 8. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like this season they're going to be, I don't know. I just have a feeling they're going to be mean to Will and Dustin. Who's and Will that and makes Dustin? Me sad. Will is the one that gets kidnapped each time. Oh, by yeah. Him. Yeah, they always... What a loser. Well, yeah, he always... Stop. Let's not go I there. love <laughs> him. And then Dustin is the one that has the, the issue oh, with Oh, yeah, team. yeah. I like him. So I kind of feel like they're the ones that are going to be left behind in this season. Well, we'll see. Well, we'll, we'll see. see. I mean, I've already seen it, but I've we'll see. I've already seen it, but we'll see. But no we'll spoilers, see. guys. Wednesdays. No spoilers. Yes. Full yes. spoilers on Wednesday, so, though. Full spoilers on Wednesday. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so something else that came out, which had everybody in the uproar, was there is going to be a Little Mermaid live action movie? How excited are you, Abigail? <sighs> Abigail's super excited. Uber excited. Look Uber at her. Excited. She can't even. I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was more of a Beauty and the Beast fan. 
So oh, the Little obviously. Mermaid to me was cute and everything, but it doesn't really hold my interest as much as Beauty and the Beast. Well, they got an actress, an unknown actress. No, for she's me. a she's a singer. She's an artist. Mm-hmm. I don't even know who that is, to be honest. I don't know who she is either. It's from what I remember, because I don't fact check. From what I remember <laughs> is that she is uh, part of like a duo, uh, singing group. And they were kind of like, quote unquote, discovered by Beyonce because she had them on tour with her. Okay. And that's pretty much it. That's all I know. Amen. Okay. Well, I don't know who this person is. Maybe Elias can put a picture up of exactly oh, yeah. who they, the little live mermaid. So she is uh, uh, black. Um, so they decided to. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, what do you want me to say? Yeah. Her name is Hale Bailey. Haley. Haley. Haley Bailey? Is it, is it Haley? Haley Berry. It's kind of like Halle Berry. Hall- but like it's Halle H-A-L-L-E? Yeah, Haley. Haley Hallel? Berry. Hallel? Whatever her damn name is. Um, <laughs> I mean, the... there's been a bit of uproar. A lot of Louis, people oh, find it very sister, controversial. Sister uh, duo R&B, Chloe and Haley. I think that's the name of the group. Yeah, so her name is Haley. Haley Berry. So it's like Halle Berry, but... Oh, well, uh, it's been a lot of controversial because because um, people I mean, want it. People just, wanted a Danish-looking uh, Little Mermaid to look exactly like she was portrayed, but with the waist like this big. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly like that, what like I want. Literally like that. Yeah, everybody wants a waist like that, and then no. Uh, no. <laughs> And so people have been in an uproar. I, I don't care. I'm not gonna watch the movie. All I gotta say, in my uh, my personal opinion, is okay. Like that. If that's the case, let's 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 do it all. Let's be fair all across the board. So if there's gonna be a Black Panther and if he's a he's a white man, I don't want to hear uproar. Uh, okay, because it doesn't matter. Let's be fair. Or like if there's a Hispanic. <laughs> And they want to make a white person the Hispanic, they can do that. Or if it's, if it's white character and they want to put Hispanic, if they want to do it, they do it all. Do all genders. I mean, all genders. Yeah, all genders too. <laughs> all genders and all fucking races. All right? Give us a pendejos. I think it's great. Go for it. Make I mean, I don't give a shit. Make, I'm not going to pay money. Make the coin. I mean, people are still going to watch it either way. Um, I mean, I think at the end of the day, it depends on the acting and the singing ability. So hopefully she's good for it. Hopefully it fits. It fits. Yeah. Like now, my, I'm just wondering who they're going to make Prince Eric. Because, you know, they did make... They should a, just make him Hispanic. A while, ba- a while back, they just did make, make him Hispanic. A, a Cinderella movie where um, the Cinderella, the main character, was Brandy. The singer Brandy. And she was black. Bra- who's Brandy? Brandy, fool. Brandy Ooh. from Moesha. You mean Moesha? No, her name's Brandy. Her Moesha's real name is show. Brandy. Her Brandy is a crappy name. Moesha. Moesha is a TV show. Yes, her name's Moesha. No, the real, like her Martin, real Martin name Lawrence, is Brandy. Moesha. Oh, my God. She's Moesha. She's Moesha. UPN 20. Well, yeah, so her, <laughs> she made a movie where she was Cinderella. Oh, And she that did? one kicked off really well. Oh, I never watched her yeah. crappy movies. And I think Prince Eric was Asian. They sure. made Prince oh, Eric Oh, you know what? Asian. That one, because it, Samurai's, and, and they did travel around the seas, so maybe they ran into uh, and his parents a were his parents were uh, Whoopi Goldberg and some other guy that I don't remember. The guy was a Caucasian, but yeah, so it was the Caucasian guy and Whoopi Goldberg. Well, I say, Sun Prince Eric. I say, <laughs> do it all across the boards. Don't try to just like just change all this crap. Like, I think as long as the movie's good, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that's what I that's, think that's, too. That's, that's I really don't good. care. Would I go I'm not see watch it? it? Probably not. I'll wait for it to, to come out on VHS. Uh, I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, I mean, VHS for VHS. sure. I get two craps. Like I said, I want to see it all across the boards. I'm more right. of a Beauty and the Beast girl. Either. Yeah, I like being the beast. Well, I'm you're sure you're, she's more of a, yeah, she's pretty beastly. Be our guest. <laughs> <laughs> so she tells Anyways, to come let's through. go ahead and shift gears to sports. It's a uh, home baseball sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He shoots and he scores. <laughs> Touchdown, <laughs> Texans. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead. Um, there's been a flurry of moves in the NBA at this point in time, but the biggest move, the biggest move came last night. Um, I was with uh, Lowe's and we were just drinking it up. All of a sudden, he shows me uh, uh, a notification, and then I, my yeah, phone was on fire. With yeah, that. my phone, my phone went, was blowing up, and I wasn't really paying attention to it. Turns out, Kawhi Leonard is with the Clippers. He signed with the Clippers. He signed with. The L.A. Clippers. He rejected the L.A. Lakers, as he should have. I'm glad he did. He said, nah, player. Ain't no going to be no super team around here. Clippers. Clippers. There's going to be gonna be competition up in this bitch. And Elias <laughs> cried because he <laughs> thought they were going to get him. But they didn't get him. 
Elias. So that's good. You're putting words in your mouth again, Elias. So is no, it, it's is true. It true. It's true. He was hoping Kawhi Leonard. Uh, he rejected Canada, though. So Leo's, uh, my cousin Leo from Canada, and he's, he lives in Toronto. He's going through a bad breakup right now. He's Yeah, he's crying, and he's drinking it up. He's drinking it up, yeah. Yeah, and jerking off, too. So. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, you got to do what you got to do to get over things. So, <laughs> awkward. I don't give a fuck. I don't know. That's your cousin, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, uh, so Kawhi Leonard joined with the Clippers. I feel like that's a great move. Um, I feel like the reason he did that was to give more competition. He didn't want to be like LeBron James. I joined a super team with Miami. So, he you was think like, he, nah. he didn't want to be overshadowed? Is nah, that what? I think he just doesn't. I think he just... He, he's not that type of person, like, because Kawhi Leonard's, like, not like no, every other superstar where he wants, like, fame and stuff like that. He's very chill, laid back. He just wants to win. And the thing is, he doesn't want to join somewhere else and then be like, oh, you won because So, you well, why not stay with Toronto, then? I think Toronto did not have the pieces that the Clippers have. If you think about it, the Clippers have now. Oh, and then something else that happened. Probably too they much traded, The Clippers here. traded five first-round picks and two players to OKC, basically to get Paul George, which is another uh, great player. So now with the Clippers, you have, as a starting point guard, you have Patrick Beverly. Um, you have a uh, 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 small forward and a shooting guard, either Paul George or Kawhi Leonard. And then you can you can mix pieces around that. Um, and, and you still got Lou Williams as your sixth man coming off the bench. Okay. So you stacked. Sure. So I, I feel like that's going to be a great yeah. team. Um, they might, I don't know how they're gonna what they're gonna do up front uh, as far as uh, center. Um, I, I know they got Montres Harold, uh, but I don't really have a lot of faith in Montres Harold. I feel like he doesn't he, he gets pushed around a lot because he's too small compared to some. People. Yeah, what do you think about that, Abigail? <clears throat> if he gets pushed around too much, go for the gold. Go oh, wherever he needs to go. Okay. They should have signed Airbud for sure, though. This fool here. <laughs> So, point is, uh, the Clippers look like a strong team. Not only that, it just happened a couple of hours ago, uh, Boogie Cousins to the Lakers. So, the Lakers now have uh, the, the, front, the, front of, uh, the front two from uh, New Orleans, the New Orleans Pelicans, which is Anthony Davis and Boogie Cousins. Then they have LeBron James and they have Kyle Kuzma. And then Rajon Rondo signed for two years. Hey. So, you have your starting five right there. You have Rajon Rondo at the point. Um, uh, you have Kyle Kuzma at the two. Uh, LeBron James, he can play all positions, but you probably be at the three or the four. And then you have, of course, uh, no, he's going to have to be the three because the four would have to be um, Anthony Davis, and then the five would have to be uh, uh, Boogie Cousins. So mm-hmm. you have your five your five stars. They have no bench, though. Uh, they have no bench, but I'm pretty sure they're going to start signing people for their bench. Now, maybe just a whole bunch of nobodies. I know J.J. Redick is still out there. Uh, he hasn't signed up with anybody, so maybe they'll probably put him on the bench. But the Lakers also looking like a pretty good squad now, um, and and it it just brings more excitement to uh, uh, the NBA because we also know Kevin Durant and Ky- uh, Kyrie Irving went to the Brooklyn um, uh, Brooklyn Nets with uh, DeAndre Jordan, so they have a squad there. Uh, we know the Celtics signed uh, um, what's his name from the Bobcats. Um, oh, 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 fuck. I know you're talking about. Fuck, what was his, his name? name? <laughs> I almost forget his name. Uh, That's what happens when you play for the Bobcats. Man. He's, he's a good. He, he's a good young man. <laughs> Very nice <laughs> I'm, that, that's gonna be bugging me. No, it's because he pays for the Bobcats, and like, I'm sorry, the Bobcats aren't that good. So I know um, really. He's a very good uh, young that's man. That's with the M, doesn't it? Ah, oh, Bobcat. A very nice young Bumblebee man. Bumblebee tuna. I forgot yeah. his name. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Ah, I forgot his name. What is going on? I know it's not Harambe. Peace. No, it's not Harambe. <laughs> it is not peace, Harambe. Peace is too Harambe. Uh, Isaiah Thomas agrees to a deal with the Wizards. Yes, but that's not very really important. <laughs> That's really not very important. <laughs> Jimmy Butler? No, nah, it's not Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler signed with Miami. I don't know why the hell Jimmy Butler. Kimba Walker. Kimba Walker. Kimba Walker. So they have him as a point guard, but they also got that 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 uh that really good player, that really young player from the Celtics. Uh, How young is he? Huh? Okay, that was weird. Why would you ask that? I'm asking. You say he's a really young player. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, you said you were the one that said he was a nice young man. No, no that's Kimba Walker. That's Kimba Walker. Yeah. He's a really nice young man. <laughs> uh, give me one. Keep up, Abigail. Keep up. Yes, please, Abigail. Please. 
Some of this has to be edited. So I know Terry Rozier left, and he signed with the Bobcats. But Jason Tatum, that's who they have right now. They have Jason Tatum, which is a great upstart player. Uh, he, he scores really well. Um, they still got Gordon Haywood. So they still got a squad. So I feel like the Celtics will will probably be up there. Toronto Raptors, sorry, guys. You guys are done. I don't see... I don't see who they'd be signing. I, I really don't. I mean, I, without Kawhi Leonard, they're not really that good. Uh, the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, just... Danny Green went to the Lakers for two years, three, thirty million. Uh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Thirty million. That's your bench right there. That's a bench. That's the bench right yeah. there. Maybe if they get JJ Redick, that'd be probably a little bit better because you got all shooters just for the floor. Why are you telling me like you got all shoot? I don't work for that team, man. Well, I'm just saying, like, you're a Lakers fan. I don't play on that team. My Rockets, they're done. Your Rockets. My Rockets, they're done. They, they haven't, they didn't do shit. They're like, oh yeah, everybody's on the trade block. Didn't do a goddamn motherfucking thing. Well, supposedly, uh, <laughs> uh, what's his name? Russell with OKC is on the trade block. And so, okay, now I wanted to talk about that. So, now that Paul George is with the Clippers, so we're talking about the East is stacked. Uh, of course, as I mentioned before, uh, the Celtics are going to have some hate. The 76ers look really, really good. Uh, they ended up re-signing, um, what you call it, uh, a lot of uh, the uh, players. Uh, and they got, who did they get? Um, who? Oh, uh, fuck, man. I, it's just so many fucking moves, dude. Like, I, I can't track. So, anyways, the East is stacked. Once again, the competition is fair. Uh, LeBron's little super team bullshit is dying. That's Thank the number five? Thank God. That you're looking forward to? For LeBron? <laughs> no, I'm not looking forward to LeBron winning another championship. Yeah, I don't want him to win another championship. He wants him to win another I'm sorry, guys. I really don't. I just feel like he he, uh, he, he, uh, he started the whole super team bullshit, and then not only that, he wanted to bitch and complain about it when people started using it against him, like actually building their super teams and beating his ass. And then like he, instead of trying to win and try to go to a team that's going to win championships, he chose to go to L.A. for Hollywood. So, which I don't blame. It's his money's prerogative, but don't. Don't yeah. try to, you're not the best in the NBA. But anyway, uh, that's what's been happening. Um, mm. As far as uh, Russell Westbrook, dude, OKC, what the fuck? They just gave away Paul George like nothing. Mm, well, they gave up a lot. Well, they received they a lot. They received five yeah. first-round picks, um, and they received two players. But who's going to play with – that just lets me know that nobody wants to play with Russell Westbrook, bro. Yeah, I could have told you that. He, he's a ball hog. He's a oh, Kobe you know what's Bryant. Funny too? Uh, today, the day we were recording, uh, July 6, 2018, was the day they signed Paul George. And the city had named that day Paul George Day. Oh. Damn. <laughs> uh, only in Oklahoma. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, man, I, can't, I can't wait to see Skip Bayless. On, uh, on unbreaking news uh, former Patriot Teddy Bruschi? Bruschi. Broski? Teddy Bruski had a stroke. He had a strokes. Yeah, so uh in the two thousand one in the two thousand eras of the, the Patriots had this amazing linebacker Kyle, Teddy Bruski. He he was like the quarterback of the defense. Uh really good uh, linebacker. Uh was on SPN as an anchor several times. Um gave him his perspective. Um a little of a cheater. He was a bit of a cheater. He, he kind of when they <laughs> when they came out when they got caught cheating those three times. He pretty much admitted it. He was just like, yeah, and and and, and what? He's like, you got to win. And it was like, okay, I, I, he was a good linebacker. I'm not gonna take that for him. But that they the three Super Bowls. But they were cheaters. It says here that he actually had another stroke before in 05 while he was on the Patriots team. Oh wow. Well, man, all those head injuries. Do all those strokes, and... yeah, that's what I was going to say, stem from head injuries? Was he ever injured? It's a possibility. They're still looking into all that, um, but they haven't really released a lot of information on that. But concussions and things, they can lead to that yeah. in your later life. And, yeah, and he was he was playing the era where they, they still hit. They were hitting. Mm-hmm. Now they don't hit as much, but back then they used to hit all the fucking time. Uh, he is 46. Like, yeah. Oh, my God. He retired like about <clears throat> 10 years ago, I think. Shit. Yeah, I'm 32, right? Already? Yeah, he retired like yeah, 10 he years retired ago. ten years ago, oh nine. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So I mean, right now this is a time where players like in their older age, like stuff starts getting affecting them in football players. It's sad. It really is. Well, at the same time, that's what makes the money worth it. I guess. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, that's the trade off. But I mean, they know the risks. In my opinion. Yeah. You know, like, but it is what it is. But speaking of football, yeah, like every time, every time you hear like one of those uh, football players talk about like. Would they want their kids to play? They they're like usually hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I'm yeah. sure I wouldn't blame them. Yeah. I, I I I'm sorry. I don't think the the money is is worth it. Well, I mean, pe- pe- the people people want to get paid and people want to. Granted, it's a, it's a great sport and a lot of people. Oh yeah, it's it, my but, favorite sport. No, I'm I'm never gonna deny as a fan of football like 
how shit goes down. The but, consequences of it. But I, don't but I love football. No. Like, if, you know, uh, Bill Burr has this joke where, like, if a co- the commissioner came in and, and punted a baby across the office, like, we would still, I would still watch football. Like, I wouldn't give a shit. That, no, that's just, his problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> like. I don't know about punting babies, but. No, but it was, it was a joke by Bill Burr. <laughs> you guys check him out. My favorite comedian of all time. Anyway, um, so not only that is football news, but also there's this lucky little bitch named Ezekiel Elliott from the Cowgirls that got super, super lucky. What do you do? So in this summer, a couple of months ago, uh, he went to an event. Uh, in, in the Dallas area, leaving the event, I guess he was on it or whatever. I thought it was in uh, Vegas. Was it in Vegas or was it in Dallas? I thought it was in <clears> Dallas because <throat> they dropped the charges. I don't know. I thought it was in Vegas. Can you double check for me? Uh, so I'm trying to look it up. Okay, so anyways, there was an altercation. He was leaving an event. He was on it. He, when I mean on it, he was drunk. And he got into it with the security guard and he pushed the security guard and the security guard fell. That's like, you automatically, like, Taken to jail, arrest. So he was arrested. The thing is, this guy has had a history with problems uh, when he's not on the field. He uh, he he pulled girls top down. Um, what do you do? He uh, I don't care, man. I don't keep up with him. <laughs> like he like all this. So not, he has a history of basically of misbehaving. misbehaving. And the thing is, la- he was suspended almost for a whole year. He was suspended for like six games because of misconduct. Okay. Oh the, no, he was suspended because they were investigating what happened with this one girl. Yeah. But it turns out that one girl was just thirsty for money. Oh. Okay. Supposedly. No, no, no. Not supposedly. There was text messages from her saying, if you don't give me the money, I'm going to be saying that you raped me. Ah. Okay. It was, it was all a ploy from her to get money. Okay. Well, he got suspended six games, regardless. <clears throat> yeah, he had to get But he had, they he did had a history they, of this, though. But they did they it because they had to do it instead yeah. of, like, waiting for everything to happen. Because then it would have been on their asses. It'd be like, but look, oh, you didn't do nothing yeah, while he was. Would've, yeah, people would have. Yeah, they would have bitched about it. Before that, before that, he was at a party, and he grabbed a, a girl's top, and he pulled it down. In oh. camera. In front of everybody. Like, who does that? Who the fuck does that? He does. I, I, I guess, men, I guess. In, men in position of power and know that they have they're gonna have money or have yeah. money. Well, she didn't yeah. press charges. That girl, she didn't press charges. So the the, the NFL told him, if you mess up one more time, we oh, gonna so suspend. So he still got away with it. He still got away with it. Oh. So then then, then that was the lead up to the six games because they were like, oh no, this dude's having history. He keeps coming back every fucking year with this bullshit because mm-hmm. he's only been in the league three years. Okay. So each year he fucks up. And so they told, he get to yeah. So he got six. He got suspended for four to six games. He, I think he got only, only four. Uh, no, it was six. It was six. So then the commissioner told him, if you come to my office again one more time, you're gonna be suspended for the whole year. Uh, okay. So okay. So yeah, it was in Vegas. Uh, oh, Dallas, God. Dallas Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott will not be punished for an incident in Las Vegas, according to a statement released by the NFL, and it reads, "quote end quote immediately following." Uh, reports of an incident in Los, An- uh, Las Vegas in May involving Zeke Elliott of the Cow- Dallas Cowboys. The NFL conducted a comprehensive investigation that included uh, included uh, interviews with multiple witnesses, including security personnel and others. Direct that involvement got as charges. a review of the documentary and other information on Tuesday as part of that review. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell will met with uh, Mr. Elliott to reinforce the standards of conduct expected for him to. So you got away with it. To meet the standards, Mr. Elliott acknowledged that he demonstrated poor judgment and committed to <laughs> make better choices in the okay. future. He volunteered to take advantage of resources available to help him continue to grow personally. Commissioner Goodell determined there was no violation no, of the personal conduct. Wow, dude. 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 Yeah. Slap on the wrist. yeah. He didn't need shit. The, and the officer dropped charges. <clears throat> so at the end of the day, he got away with it. And the thing is, this dude, every year since he's been in the league, he's been fucking up. Every year. Every year. So my thing is, he should have been suspended at least... Two games, at least. This is a little bullshit. But you know what? He's gonna do it again. He's gonna do the, it again. Drop the charges. He will do. He will do it again. Well, I'm sure. I I'm guarantee. Sure. It's whenever you're in a position of power. He will do it again. And you have money, and the type of person you are, money just like accentuates yeah. that. Yeah. So, so I, I feel like uh, for the Dallas Cowboys, like this is just. But that's every year though. Dallas Cowboys always have stupid ass players. Ever since I can remember, just doing stupid shit. Every summer, so um, we'll see what happens with Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, uh, as far as to see if he fucks up again, I guarantee that he will. I guarantee that he will. So just let me know. Take the time. Stamp. I don't wish nothing bad on people, but like this dude, like he has a history. And before, even before the NFL, he already had a history. So he's like a repeat offender. <clears throat> yeah. So it's like someone who does that is not going to stop, right? Especially if he's getting away with it. Agreed. 
So, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, the one prior to that was the one where he got suspended for the six games violating its personal mm-hmm. conduct pro- policies in 2017 after a year-long investigation into domestic violence al- uh, allegations by former girlfriend. Elliot denied allegations and launched a lengthy legal battle against the, sus- the suspension before serving it. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that for sure was one of the issues. Like, like I'm, I can say for sure, like, they have proof that she was just after the money. Okay. Mm. Well, <coughs> either way, he has a he has a history. So, at the end of the day, that's that's he. It is what it is. But we'll see what happens in the future. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to gaming. Pew pew pew. The fuck was that? It's the horse on Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption. People still play that. <laughs> yes, they do. Anyway, so the news that we has come out uh, over this gaming world uh, this week. Is that CG uh, CD Project Project Red is working on three more games based on the cyberpunk world, which is great news to me. Apparently, uh, it's rumored that it's going to be one game is going to be uh, on multiplayer, uh, which sounds interesting. I don't know if it's going to be like you upgrade your arms and you hack other people and you play against other people in this world. That would be really really cool. And the other two are based uh, on the world of cyberpunk. In other words, it's it's not. Kind it's of like a spin-off. Expa- expansion pack? No, it's like a spin-off. No, no, it's not expansion. It's an actual game. It's just going to be a spin-off of the world of Cyberpunk. So CD, CD Projekt Red is just going full in on Cyberpunk. So I have a feeling that this game is going to be freaking amazing. I'm excited for it. What do you think? I think it's going to be awesome. Have you have you like looked into detail like, like the gameplay and things like that of Cyberpunk? Um, what I kind of liked was the fact that which is why I'm, I'm like confused a little bit because you said it was just mainly arms, like you could. No, it's arms, everything. But I thought in the gameplay, like you could upgrade whatever you want. Yeah, yeah you can so. upgrade. You can upgrade whatever you want. Okay. But um, uh, from the article from IGN, it reads, uh, "CD Projekt Red's full statement reads: We currently have a total of five teams working on a number of projects, uh, with three focusing on development of Cyberpunk uh, 2077. Wow. These include CD Projekt Red, uh, Warsaw, and Karok." K- those are K R A K O W. I think that's a mobile game, maybe. Who They're are work- no? Those are other developers. I mean, within house kind of thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, who are handling the main game as well as uh, Warclaw Studio, where around forty industry specialists are engaged in te- techni- technology R and D. R and D. A separate uh, dedicated team at the Warsaw Studio is handling development on Gwent, which is their card game, which is a spinoff from the Witcher series. Yeah, that, that's the one I saw. The final team is Spoka. Which is currently working on yet unannounced mobile project. I mean, they they, they have f- five teams and so three really of those are they're really project. dedicating their time to. Mm-hmm. See, if you have three of the team, uh, three of the five teams, and just working on Cyberpunk, something's big coming. So more than likely, because uh, the release date we already know it's next next year in April. Yeah. So maybe they might release something multiplayer later down that year, uh, along. You know how Red Dead Redemption they release the story and then they release the multiplayer afterwards. Perhaps there's something to do with that. It's possible. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm looking really forward to it. I mean, so far from what I've seen from Cyberpunk, it looks amazing. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on that game next year and keep playing it. <clears throat> uh, but, yeah, so I, I'm excited for CG Project Red. I'm, I'm going to go buy one of those, those samurai shirts. From uh, <laughs> there's a bomber jacket that they were giving away at E3 that everybody's gone crazy for. Oh. Oh, wow. Even better. That it's, like, reversible and it's, like, black and yellow. It looks oh. pretty cool. Oh, uh, dude. How much is it? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen the price of it. Damn. I'll probably um, I'm going to throw you a curveball because I just remember this. Go ahead. Let's talk about these rumored GTA 6. Oh. Um, all right. Isn't that the spinoff for... Um, no, what's the no, name? No, no, the, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's another sequel. It's a, it's a sequel. Uh, it's a sequel, but yeah, to that uh, the Russian guy. No, it's not going to be a sequel to the Russian guy. No. What was his not, name? From that, not from oh. GT4. No. Oh, okay. Because no, no. I thought that, that no, it's, a lot it's, of people were excited because apparently a lot of people liked GTA 4, the storyline and everything. They said that was No, the GTA 4 storyline was good, um, but I kind of, not Russian. Um, look, with GT5, I feel like their main ploy was a multiplayer. That's their main fucking thing. Like, I feel like their story was okay. Um, I did not like the characters. They oh, picked, that's what I was gonna ask you. Did you like the revolving old, characters? Yeah, they, I like the revolving characters, but they picked old people. The fuck I want to play with old people for? I'm fucking old. The fuck I want to play with old people that are older than me? Fuck. Um, it was just stupid. <laughs> like you play with the old ass man that has a family. I don't give a fuck. My point is to drive around, bang these bitches, 
virtually, <laughs> all right? <laughs> and then fucking drive around in my car and steal another car and then fire at these bitches and then play a little bit of the story and then go back to doing my thing. Like, I don't want to hear about your family or that you're depressed or you're alcoholic. Like, I don't give a fuck. It was just stupid. And then they pick some crazy guy that he's supposed to be like some sort of fucking redneck from like California walking around with his drawers on and he's psycho or whatever. Like, it was just stupid. The only character I liked was the black guy because he was just chill. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm just here chill. You know, game of the year. Man, and highest was, selling game I, ever. Yeah, because of multiplayer. The that multiplayer. was no, actually, that was before the multiplayer. Man, I didn't like this story, man. So you didn't like the. So I'm not really looking forward to GT6 like if they and if they go to that if they go to the same characters. They need to go somewhere else, man. Go with some. I don't know. Go with a, a fucking. Uh, well, yeah, you know what? Let's make what it realistic. They? So you gotta make realistic everything now. Why don't you go with the Salvadorian in fucking California? Fucking shit, little Salvadorians over there. Oh, God, I was gonna damn. say, why don't you go with a female lead? Uh, go do a female lead. I'm okay with going to a female lead. Just I don't want to be female lead and then like. Sure? All right. Are well, you sure? these rumors came out of Reddit. And supposedly it's a guy that knows a guy, and suppose. Uh, but also uh, Jason Schreier from Kotaku, who's a reporter, also already kind of like, Audit. I guess I guess debunked it. He's like, nah, this doesn't sound right. I'm guessing he already he's already in the know already, so he probably knows like this is BS or not. Okay. But anyways, the the rumors it, the rumors are is that okay the next GTA has been in development since 2012, uh, that it's gonna be. Not as uh, detailed as uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is. You know how everything was like really extra on the things they did? Like how It was they... awesome. And, okay. and another It one. was. Red Dead Redemption is one of the best uh, most beautiful games I've ever seen. The code name supposedly is Project Americas. Uh, it's set in both in the Vice City and a new fictional location based in Rio de Janeiro. Oh, okay. Uh, with some linear, linear missions taking place in Liberty City, but it's not open world. It's more like that one uh, first opening in GTA V. Oh, I should uh, say. Game balance uh, will uh, game will balance realism in arcade. Won't be as realistic as RD2, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, <clears throat> one playable playable protagonist at the time at this time, male, not female, despite supposed leaks. Set in the seventies and eighties. Oh, um, wow! So a whole but new, this, a whole new, we're gonna have some good music. But this is all like again rumors and not nothing's confirmed. Everybody's been running with this, but supposedly it's not even true. Uh, what else? Uh, it will. It'll, the gameplay, as far as the storyline, is gonna be set up like chapters, like they were in Red Dead Redemption Two. So like you know, as soon as you finish like one main mission, you go into the next chapter, kind of thing. If you play that. Uh, what else? Uh, weather's a heavy focus. Hurricanes, floods, etc. Oh. Um, uh, so it's, since it's based within this time frame of the 70s and 80s, yeah. uh, buildings change over the eras, vehicles too. Uh, huh. Supposedly, this has been causing them problems in development. It's been really right. difficult to get that going. Yeah. So uh, rare classic cars get more expensive as time progresses, for economy, blah, blah, blah. Heavily inspired by Netflix's Nauticals. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. They want to have an incredible 70s, 80s soundtrack. Uh, you're going to see a younger Martin Madrosa. <laughs> I don't know his name. From I, I guess he's one of the drug lords from the other games. And let's see. Drug Empire building in, uh, similar to Vice City. Stories, but bigger, much bigger. Uh, and that's it. That's So far, that's like the TLDR of the, the room. That's a lot. For it to be like that and leaked, that's a lot. Well, that's why, that's why because it's so detailed, because there's so much, because it sounds so real, they think it's bullshit. Like, like the, the people that are in the know, the people that are always like talking to developers and these studios, yeah. they're like, no, nah, this doesn't sound true. Hmm. But what do you guys think? It I mean, be a great game. yeah, it would be. It looks like something. <laughs> it would be. A it would. I'd be interested. I'd be interested. It would give you like a whole different scene, whereas you know, all the other games have been based like on real time and everything to go back in time, and then it looks like it would give you a whole. No, because Vice City was Rio Vice de Janeiro City, when Grand Theft Auto Vice City came out. That was based basically on the seventies, right? That was the eighties. It was eighties, yeah. So it wasn't. It's not too far fetched. Uh, but just going back through all the other shit, damn man, that's a lot. So, that would be a lot for production, especially like you said, if the locations need to change, the cars yeah. need to change, everything's gonna change. Yeah, I could see that happening. Mm. Yeah, think of that soundtrack. I <laughs> know that's what I'm excited about. Really and Vice City had some great music. Yeah, dude, and it really had some great music. Uh, but man, that that would be exciting. I would be happy. And and just just uh just to let you know, guys, too, um, uh, to go ahead and go through a finish here. Um, 
Nintendo Switch uh, also had some leaked images of their mini. Of their Nintendo I Switch mini. I to look this up. I didn't I see it. I don't see it. I saw, I saw a little bit of them, but they're, I, I saw them on Google. Oh, but they've been taking them down, so... Um, I did find an article on Business Insider. It says, here's everything we know about the rumored Nintendo Switch Mini coming this year. Uh, smaller and cheaper. Um, let's see here. But I'm assuming if it's going to be smaller, the graphics are not going to be up to par, man. I've been waiting for that new Switch to come out with some new graphics. But anyways, this new Nintendo Switch Mini, um, hopefully, uh, it, well, as, as Elias said, it's, it's supposed to be cheaper. Um, I'm, I just don't see how... How it's going? It's I'm, on, I'm on Google right now and I can't. Uh, it's saying here it reports site suppliers and others with direct knowledge of Nintendo's plans. Uh, Nintendo didn't commit comment on the report at the time, nor has it directly acknowledged work in the new versions of the Switch. Uh, I think I think Nintendo will offer a, a Switch Lite or just keep a current version at a lower price to cover the lower end of the spectrum of hmm. the offers. I would I would probably agree with that, like kind of like how they did with the DS Lite. Like they gave you the mm. so because you know they did that with the with the Nintendo DS because I remember yeah. playing it on the DSs so I think I'm more leaning towards that like a, but doesn't that affect the graphics light. and the gameplay and the memory and things like that mm. uh, probably but that, I don't think that's what they're going for I think they're going for like since they're saying the 3DS is dying they want something to replace it so why not a Switch just a just a light version of a Switch mm -hmm. that way you can still play the games that you have on your Switch but this time like it's cheaper to buy. Because I think right now the Switch is still like, what, $300? Still 300 yes. So, yeah, you save money by buying a cheaper Switch. You'll have more than one in your house. Uh, there's games coming out like Pokemon that have two different versions of the game. You can have both of them, playing both with your kids there. Uh, that's probably what they're shooting for, if anything. But yeah, I'm the same. I'm on the same boat where I'm looking for them to uh, upgrade <clears throat> for an upgrade. Because yeah. I don't want to buy the 300 and then it'd be upgraded. Like, it's going to piss me off. So that's the reason why I'm waiting. Um, but, I mean, they, they haven't announced anything. It's already been a year. So I think I might just get it because with the new Legend of Zelda and all these games that I want to play, of course, Chrono Trigger. Like, I don't mind playing on my phone, but I'd rather play Well, they probably offer good bundle packs as well, too. Well, I, yeah. I would assume so. Like, I looked for the bundle pack. It's like 550 and it comes with like three games, like Legend of Zelda and some other games, and then it comes like with a controller. Yeah, like, and you also have to think like during the holidays too. That's usually when. Yeah, they, they do maybe for problems. Black Friday, but I'm pretty sure the price is gonna go down for Black mm, Friday. Probably not. So I mean, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, um, uh, that that's pretty much covers this week, guys. Uh, um, Los isn't here. Hopefully, he'll be here next week. Hopefully, I'll be here next week, which I will not because I pro I work on next Saturday, unfortunately. Uh, it's not that I'm trying not to be here, guys. Just I, it's been a lot of work. We've been busy. I'll be here next week. <laughs> yes, Abby will be here next week. So uh, yeah, but thank you so much for. Did y'all miss me? I know it's show. been like two weeks. <laughs> no, you were in the Humpty Show. Yeah, weren't you? you? Humpty Show. No, not oh, for no, Spider, not for Speeder Man. Not for Speeder Man. No, no I didn't get to watch it on time. <sighs> Was a day that I need to watch Peter Man too. I just haven't had a chance, dude. But I, I was really on the haven't. Toy Story one. Yeah, I but really I haven't been here for two. You know weeks. what? Yeah, I wa haven't even noticed. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, Attack on Titan was announced for season four for 20, uh, uh, 2020. So I'm excited for yeah, that. That's his final season too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's his final season. So keep an eye. I wonder for how that. they're gonna make that work. Yeah. Cause... But moving forward, please like and subscribe. Uh, click the, click the, the bell. The final punch. We'll do a final punch. Yeah, do a final punch. Well, go ahead. You start off. So, your final punch, Abigail. It's going to be the same as last. That's two weeks ago. I'm just which kidding. Was? Uh, which was? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Get over it, dude. My <laughs> final punch, guys. Elias, you do it so much better. How was it? Shh, shh, shh. I didn't even do that. My final punch, guys, is I'm so happy that Kawhi Leonard chose the Lakers. I mean, the Clippers. Uh, it just makes the NBA a lot better, a lot more competition, and worth the watch. What do you think of the S? What's your final point? Uh, look, I know we were supposed to say this for Wednesday, but Stranger Things, yeah, way too many damn kids. <laughs> Stop adding to this. <laughs> yes, show. please. Like, too many damn kids to keep up with. I don't know their names. Yeah, I don't know their names. Yeah. How do y'all not know their names? It's Dustin, uh, it's Dustin Lucas, Will. Lucas. Will uh and finn finn and that's it and then 11 and, then and mad max max and then what about uh what about his sister Shit, i don't know nancy, nancy. and then the other guy Steve. jonathan jonathan god damn and then bill 
and then Hopper? Mrs. Wheeler, Hopper. Uh, uh, fuck, what's uh, so many fucking. Too many fucking. Too many fucking. The people. mean stepbrother. What was his name? Billy. Oh god. Billy? Yeah, I already mentioned that. Oh, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so please like and subscribe down below. Uh, we are on iTunes, uh, Anchor, Spotify, Spotify uh, YouTube. YouTube. We are also on uh, <laughs> Twitch with Elias doing a handy dandy job. Uh, please go ahead and support Elias. Uh, he is at JRX4X. So we can X. get that taco money. Hell uh, yeah, man. Don't move the camera. I'm oh, sorry. Boy. At Twitch. At Twitch what? Twitch.tv4 slash JRX4X. There you go. You can shut up now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Peace!